What's happening? I'll tell you exactly what's happening. Merthyr Tidville, my actual hometown where I spent 21 years of my life. Merthyr Tidville, right, it's one of those places. It has such bad press. We're going to come through, show you the beauty spots, we're going to show you some of the worst spots, and we're going to find out what Merthyr Tidville is actually like. What he said? Tabernacle Church, mate. That's what I got christened. That's where all the family stuff happens. That was our local, because my grandma's quite religious, so that was our family parish. That's where all the christenings, weddings, and funerals took place. How did you end up being in there without catching fire? Then? Yeah. Or is that why you read in the. Uh, no, fun the fact for you, right? I was actually christened in there with water from the River Jordan. And that's a true story, because you used to spend a lot of time out in Egypt and Cairo and stuff. And my gran asked, can he actually pick water up, holy, you know, holy water from over there? And I was blessed and christened with water from the River Jordan. And that's a true fact. Welcome to the video, which will be full of true facts, according to this man. His 100%. true fact might not necessarily this be the same as other people. Look at this little dog. Oh, mate, beautiful. you are beautiful. Look at you. <laughs> he was christened in the Church of Merthyr with water from the Jordan, which, oh, mate. That happened. And if you had water from the local River Taft, would it be called Taft, Thomas? I also went to school in the castle. That also happened. What seems crazy to other people just seems normal life, and I stand by that. It's just normal. Oh, mate, this video's off to a cracking start. <laughs> so, welcome to Gavartha Park. Do you get wildlife in you? Yeah. Right, so we're going to start this video right here at Kavartha Castle, which was actually where I went to school. Yes, I went to school in a castle. This one sat right behind me. The school has now closed down. It's a museum, and you can actually get married here. It's one of the beauty spots. It's wonderful grounds around here. You've got a wonderful lake down there. You've got a mini train railway, etc. Kavartha Castle, this is the ultimate place for me in Merthyr. Kavartha Castle, yeah, this is actually home of the Crochet family because Merthyr Tidal was actually the industrial capital of the world back in the day. There's also a replica, the terrific uh, steam engine down by there. But the Crochets, how can I say it? He was a bit of a. All this was ironworks down there. We've got the old Pandy Farm clock down there as well. A place, right, that has four sides, only a clock on three sides. So workers didn't actually know what time they were finishing work. That's how much of a that he is. Do you know how scared he was of death? Come check this out. So, good old Crochet himself was that scared of the devil and death. I think different times back then, weren't they? This was his bedroom and it's circular because he was afraid that the devil would be hiding in the corners. And there, there's no corners in a round room. When I was here, that was my music room. What's the acoustics like in a round room? I used to be a bit of fun in there. I remember playing video, kill the radio, star on the piano in there. That's one memory that sticks with me. This place, right, was built in 1840, 42, round about then. Cost 30,000. Did you know there was 7,500 bottles of wine in the basement of this place when Crochet had it? True story, innit? But this, this was my history room. I remember that. Remember that specifically, and all this then was the museum. The museum's there, in there, goes, actually goes under, uh, underground as well. It's been a nice cat. What are we gonna do? We're gonna go for a little walk behind the castle to show it to you. We'll go in the old school entrance, because there's work going on, we'll see what we can see. Let's get in the Kavartha Castle. So as an information board here, I should have come and walked over here and said a bit of information first, did it? But what you don't realize, Kavartha Park, look at the size on it. Oh, it's the size? To say what sort of acreage or whatever it is? Big. So I know when I was asking him, he said he wasn't sure about wildlife in here, but these things have piqued my interest. Look at these. Now, the crazy thing I've noticed about them is they are facing the entrance and the bit that you see as you walk up is actually blank. Something been cut off there, do you think? This one's got a little bit of either a repair or a cover up on it. Ooh, interesting. But I don't know, that's, that's peculiar. Leave it in the comments if you know anything about that. Are you gonna pretend you know anything about that? Oh, I can't give you any answers. This was his house, wasn't it, you know? Maybe he just liked those and thought he put them in his garden. However, I can tell you something cool up here. See the one big tower up there? Way out of bounds when I was in school. However, I can think of two occasions that I actually ventured up to there. Once I remember getting shouted at. This place is meant to be very, very haunted. However, being in school here was phenomenal, right? Yes, it was falling into disrepair. I remember when it rained, there used to be buckets everywhere, but it's just picture like all the old green Victorian tile. And I remember the very first year that I came here at the school, which would have been year seven, 2003, was actually just after the first Harry Potter movie had dropped. For me, I was like Harry Potter going to Hogwarts. 
Well, this is the bit, yeah, of the castle that not many people do actually see because they don't think you can actually come and walk around here. I can remember they were the masking in these rooms down there. <laughs> I can remember we were a load of Gurnos boys because we're surrounded, right, by the Gurnos estate, which is said to be one of the roughest estates in Wales. We will check this out later in the video. However, boys come down, stones, smashed all the windows of the castle. <laughs> we were sent home because it wasn't safe for us to be there. Now, I remember back in the day, and I'm talking 90s, early 90s, I do remember the Gurnos did have a bad reputation. I don't know if it still has that reputation. So I think everybody's got their better areas and worse areas, isn't it? Yeah. But well, um, see, my grandparents lived in the Gurnos. They were there from day one in the old part, so I've grown up in the Gurnos estate, so I've got a bit of inside information, so we're going to oh, actually film it and talk about it properly. We'll be coming to like the old bike sheds here. This was a girls' changing rooms for PE. We're not going to be filming that. Now. They even go in there anyway, but you know. Is this the bike sheds or is this the changing room? Yeah, I think this was the old bike sheds and the changing rooms used to be down there. Obviously, I was a man. I went to the boys' changing rooms, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the back of the castle. But well, there's so many nice walks like this. You can go for miles and miles around here. They've done a lot of redevelopment here as well. I think there's like a bit of a splash park up there as well and like some greenhouses. But there's something up there. There's a lot of stuff here that didn't used to be there. However, we're doing a full lap of the castle, which I haven't done in probably 15, 20 years. It'll be interesting to see how much has changed and how much hasn't. Yeah, And that's, that's throughout right. all of this video. 100%. It's a trip. Literally, this is a trip down memory lane. But we're going to be doing more and more of these towns, sharing them to you, an unbiased opinion. You know, Merthyr Tidwell, however, I can give you some true facts on it because it's where I grew up. Other than he was baptised with holy water from the River Jordan. Don't believe everything he says, Yo, isn't it? True, true facts. Story. Let I'm me like... guess now, right? Was this was this a monument to you coming to school here? No, that's probably Crochet himself, look, isn't it? Up on the pedestal up there. Was he... All the workers down there. That's true, yeah. What's the pineapple reference? Or is it just something decorative? Maybe he was a swinger, I don't know. Well, yeah. What? What's pineapples going to do with swinging? Well... Pineapple is a sign of swinging. You must know this. Pampas grass. Pampas grass. I didn't yeah, know anything pineapple. about pineapples. Leave a pineapple outside your door. So over there in the distance, then yeah, you can just see the new Trigo Mills, which to mm. me looks a bit like Camelot Castle. Looks like something. Yeah. Above that is Swansea Road, which is another bit of another deprived area of Merthyr Tidville. We'll go and check that out. Below that is the old original Crochet Ironworks. See it? They do say there's a tunnel underneath the Ironworks that connects to the castle. I'd love to do that. Goes under the lake. So this is my old gymnasium there. Look, see, you can still see the sports apparatus still in there. Everybody in school in my day, right? We need to bring out the apparatus. Remember the apparatus? Probably it's the only true. time you ever heard the word apparatus in your entire life. <laughs> Two laps around that lake is a mile long. At a lunchtime, they used to offer like a 10, 20, 30 club, which I actually started doing. I know you wouldn't think, you know, so you used to run around there and get like a certificate for however many miles that you did. I started doing it because you could get out of doing school by going there and doing some running instead. That's education for you, innit? I think I had about 50 or 60 miles on a certificate. Oh, shut got up. It. Yo, shut up. True story. Anybody that saw the Blue Anchor video where he was on the phone buying a car, this is the car he bought. I wanted something that's sensible that I can jump on and do the mileage because filming these videos in an RS3 gets expensive. When I'm on that subject, thank you very much for our very first member joining the channel. Helps us out massively and lets us do more of these videos. On that subject, if you want to help support the channel and help it grow, please consider becoming a member. Link from the homepage. Right, so this is the original school entrance that I remember. Used to go through those doors there. Because back in the day, yeah, when it actually became a grammar school, it was yeah. literally just for boys. Yeah, yeah, More yeah. In recent years then. It was a girls' school as well. That's where the headmaster used to be in there. And I can remember the groundskeeper used to actually work in there. Drama class there, science in here. Mate, it's still got the old tables and desks. It hasn't changed a bit. There we go, that was a bit in there. That was like the reception. That's where the headmaster used to be. And that was the groundkeeper. That's where he used to live in all that. He used to live in it? Live in it, like the caretaker. This is blowing my mind being back here. <laughs> with the Bunsen burners and one of the boys hit it over, set my pencil case on fire and I got kicked out as well and I was nothing to do with it. So the old school part is closed off at the moment, nobody can access it. No, you can't go in there. Do you think 21 years ago I came here? That's bonkers, that's how old I'm getting. Wow. Yeah, so that's the lake, lovely little, uh, well there's lots of ducks and stuff around here, it's not deep either. It's not that's even, how lakes work, son. It's not even waist deep, right? So what we're gonna do now is drive out of the park and we're gonna drive straight in 
to where I actually grew up. Just to show everyone, in case you're interested, Merthyr isn't all bad. There's good and bad bits about it. We should show that, because a lot of people come here and just show the negatives. This is where I spent 21 years of my life, mate. This is where I grew up. This is funny driving down here. Wow. Really, really is mind blowing. The amount of times I walked up and down this road as a teenager or drove it as well. Unbelievable. And this is where I lived, right here on the end. The um, beige one. Yeah, it used to be white when we lived there, but they've painted it that colour. Brass where I lived. Uh, Lakeside Gardens, if anyone wants to come here and uh, pay homage to it. That used to be my bedroom up there. I used to love it. And that year then was my mass. I had a big, massive, full-size pool table in there, American pool table, multi-gym. It, it was great living here. Honestly, it was so cool. It was such a nice house. Very, very blessed. Very, very lucky to grow up in there. But yeah, this this is wild coming back here. God, they've ruined it. They have absolutely ruined that house. It looked so much better when we had it. Who puts brown windows in a house these days? If you're gonna put windows in a house these days, it's gonna be light, you know, duck egg sort of green color, innit? Or are you gonna go down the route of having like black or, you know, bluey color windows? Brown, brown is very old fashioned in today's generation. True story. Are you duck egg color blind? Because <laughs> most people would say duck egg blue. I meant to say duck, duck egg, egg green. Duck I was going for shabby shoot, right? And then the, the, the duck leave egg it green in, leave it in the comments if you duck are green if you were duck egg color blind. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now, right? We're gonna drive straight out and we're gonna head to the Gurners first because the Gurners was one of the biggest council estates in Merthyr Tibble. Here we go. So now entering the Gurners estate. This is the newer part here. I tell you what, right, the Gurness does have a bad reputation, right? If you ever say to anyone, oh, you know, yeah. from the Gurness, they're like, oh, they take a step back. But the Gurness, right, is not really that bad. Don't get me wrong, there's some areas here that is bad. Like any town, you have good and bad places. But the Gurness, right, from what I can remember growing up, aside from the odd few choice characters, there's a lot of community here. That's the one thing I would, you know, people haven't got a lot of money here, but they will give you their last just to help you get through. That's what I remember about the Gurners. Was it the Gurners they featured in our TV show Skin? Oh yeah. Shut the door! <laughs> yeah, shut do the my door. head in, boys. Do my head in, boys. Shut the door! Yeah. Oh, stop it, boys! You doing my head in! What the f is going on? That, that's what I'm saying. Anyone, right? Two towns, anyone. Anyone that comes to Merthyr, mm. they always want to look at the negatives. Everybody comes to Merthyr, how, how bad is this town? Look at how much of a dump this is. That's the clickbait people use. Because I'll be honest, since I've left Merthyr, I don't often come back here. Family members come down and visit us, I don't often come up. Well, what he's saying is he refuses to come back to Merthyr. He's like, nah, I ain't going back there. Left this in the rear view, innit? <laughs> this is blue, innit? Yeah, you literally enter in the Gurnoir Fish Bar, bro. Talk to people about the Gurnoir for people who don't understand. So the Gurnoir is just local slang for the area. I don't know if they're trying to put a bit of a, a better spin on the place. It's like people who shop in Liddles, which is absolutely nothing wrong with it. They're like, you know, oh, what shop in Liddell, innit? Let's put it in perspective, right? So the area is Gurnos, right? Which is right there. But people call it the Gurnoir, almost in a French way. So the Gurnoir Fish Bar. I used to live in Cardiff. And down the road from me was a very poor area called Splot. Now, people used to say, who were a bit more uh, well-to-do with themselves, oh, I live in Lower Roth in Splo. Splo? You live in Splot? At least Gurnwar, they've embraced it in the Gurnwar fish bar. Time's like a kebab shop open, son. Are you fancying something? No, I always fancy a kebab, innit? But yeah, I remember this completely different. This used to be white, I can remember that. There used to be like little metal spikes, but it still is to a point around there, stop. There's a fruit and veg shop over there. Wild. But yeah, a lot of people like are terrified to come here and I honestly don't know why. It's wild, mate. It's just completely different to where I live now, like if you know where I'm coming from. But phew, you bring the camera out here, yeah? people know all about it, like don't they? But I don't see nothing wrong with the place. It doesn't it doesn't scare me in the slightest. Like I know it's got a bad press and yes, there's no doubt about it, it is a rougher area. And I, I don't mean any disrespect when I say that. It's community here, isn't it? We stand out like a sore thumb here. There's yeah. no doubt about that. Everyone was just staring at us, looking at us, even without the camera. But for these, this is their community. Absolutely, sir. Yeah, let's go for a little drive around the Gurness. So down here is the main Gurness Road. Mm -hmm. What we're gonna do, we'll dip off and we'll do some of the back streets. 
But like I can remember right, as a kid around there, I remember the stolen cars, I remember the burnt out cars on the fields, you know? I remember the fights they used to have, and it, and it was crazy. But the one thing I can always remember about my grandparents, because I said they bought their house pretty much new on when, well, Margaret Thatcher, wasn't it? Shouldn't say her name on these parts, but you could buy the council houses. And I remember the respect people used to have for my grandparents. You know, like the, the younger people wouldn't mess about, whereas they'd be fighting with each other older people that have been here since the 60s they would leave them alone they would be respectful so like almost like a bit of honor amongst their own if you like quick little aside for anybody that watched our videos with the stolen cars in the in the uh, railway tunnel they probably originated from this area yeah because this is where the tunnel is let's put a little bit of pressure on uh, steve's pupil here for reverse parking this car parallel parking i should say do you remember that though the looking over your shoulder Making sure you know. I used to go faster than that, might not be. I remember going faster than that too. Is it going to hit the curb? I always remember Newman, my driving instructor. Right, day one, we know a lot of people start in the industrial estates or whatever. Mm -hmm. He gave me, he, he took me down there. I was five minutes driving along. He said, right, go on, let's get on the road then. And I remember going up the A470, and he said, what's the speed? I said, 70. Good job. And I said, 70 mile an hour. He said, well, what are you doing, 80 mile an hour? And he said, slow it down. He told me from day one, boy, race you all going to be. But you know, seven weeks, I passed my test. I had nine lessons, loved it. So this is for like for the old school people, this is Bill's a shop here. This is where I used to run down most days from school when my if I used to be old my grand and grand she give me 50 pence, you know, you go get a mix, you had a lot of stuff for that. And these are the garages down here. God, this place hasn't changed whatsoever. Is that a Ford? Huh. But this is where they used to bring cars and burn them out down here. Yeah. I remember that quite a lot. I can understand why, it's a little bit out of the way, you know? This was my grandpa's garage, this was on the end as well. That's why I drove down here. God, it's funny seeing all this. Absolutely blowing my mind coming here. I can remember we used to jump over that little fence to get up on the garage's roofs as well. What were you wow. up on the roof for? Just to have a little look, you used to keep yourself entertained. You're not tall it? enough, like, is it? <laughs> Just go and have a little look, innit? But I remember, I remember the people who used to be here, you know, when I was a child. And obviously, that all has changed now, hasn't it? Mm. But I remember it. Wow. Yeah, the life expectancy in Merthyr is much lower than other towns, which is interesting because there's no more, you know, coal mines here anymore. It's, it's just, I, I, well, I haven't got the words for it. But it's a, it's a very deprived area. There's a lot of unemployment here. Is that Tin oh, Kardashian? Tin Kardashian! <laughs> Given that a lot of areas are, are challenged these days, is that statistic still current or is that from back in the day? Yeah, no, that's very much still active now. Like, Merthyr has one of the biggest unemployments for Wales. And the life expectancy here as well is, is much less than other areas in Wales, which, which is crazy. Like. And that's the hospital, is it? Yeah, it's the old general hospital. It's been abandoned for a good 20 years, if I yeah. can remember. Used to be a lot of uh, druggies in there, I can remember. So I was in there. That's where you used to hang out, was it? And used to come, I, well, I was exploring and come across one, and I was like, look, but I'm not here for you. Just doing a video, I had a chat, left them alone. Like, yeah. But we're now heading towards town, basically. This is Pont Morlis. A lot of cool buildings, the one up here on the right, actually burnt down. So they demolished it, but they kept like the front, very front bit there, see? Oh yeah. And then built new houses next to it then. Huh. Merthyr has changed as well. You used to be able to drive up through town. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, drive down through town. Now you can only drive up through town. Hi, there's a big one-way system in Merthyr now. Right, but there's a roundabout there. You should go round the roundabout, not drive over it. Have a good day, son. Look at this, undercover feds in a Peugeot. And the cover police. Cover police. Like architecturally, there was an entrance way to something there. That's a remnant. What was that? Is that just for a house or? Yeah, beautiful big houses up there. Nice. Very nice Victorian houses. You've got the council civic building there. To the mm -hmm. next of it is the court building. Yeah. Uh, it's just for me. This is mind blowing, and this has changed completely compared to when I was here. Or grew up here. All this is new in recent years. Like it's, it's wild, really. Really is wild. Are we gonna get taken out by a council truck? Yo, 
Is that Tim Kardashian again? <laughs> I feel it might be. It's the premier store on the right, the fountain shop, right? The bakery in there used to be incredible. This is where I used to go for most days for lunch, unless it was a Monday or Friday in school, when I would go to Chen Chang. So I would have amazing Chinese food there. However, it is now new Chen Chang, because the original owners have gone. Yeah. So it's not as good, I'm told. We've got the old fountain here. Like, this is a bit of uh, And that's what the beauty. fountain name's after, right? Okay. That's a lovely church there as well, then. But again, it's all changed a lot over the years. We're gonna be coming up now to Tesco's. We're gonna go park in Tesco's. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go for a walk and show me the town. I don't know if it's a market day or not because it used to be a big market town. But like most towns these days, the town centers have just fallen into disrepair, empty shops, because everyone shops online now, you know? True, it's the same anyway, to be honest. Some sort of arches there with access. Were they businesses back in the day, do you know? Yeah, they used to work in the arches. On that side, there's still a funeral directors. Yeah, just under the bridge, the other side, there. Tolu, you're proud of having the world's first steam locomotive here. So here we are in Merthyr Town Centre itself. Yeah. Not unlike a lot of town centres, there's a lot of vape shops yeah. and charity shops. charity shops. This Merthyr does actually have banks, which is nice to see. A lot of them have shut around, right shut down right like, yeah. However, like most towns these days, it's just depressing to look at, isn't it? You know? But most of them are like, I mean, where I come from, Ponty down the road, yeah. it's very, very similar. Yeah, well, I am thinking about this place, though. There's less shops actually derelict and closed down, like for Jen, for argument's sake. Yeah. Most of the town is closed. I know what you're saying, but... Some is still having a bit of a go, I guess. But travel agents, Iceland, Here Holland, we go. Howard Winston, very famous boxer. Statue. Oh, this is the one you were talking about. The Welsh Wizard. Oh, I'm familiar with the name the Welsh Wizard, aye. So I'm with very him. good friends with his granddaughter. I went to the same school. <laughs> Bit of a legend in these parts. I tell you what, though, it's just blowing my mind being around walking up here. But also, like I live an hour away from you, and how different the accents are up here. Yeah. Because I don't have much of a Valley's accent, I guess. Well, the UK is a small country with a lot of uh, regional accents in it. It's very true. But every five to ten miles it changes, I think that's what they say, innit? Yeah. What's your thoughts on this? Is this your first time in <laughs> I think this possibly is my first time in Merthyr Town. I think I've walked through in the past, because obviously like a year or two ago I went to the Scala with Bobby. Yeah. See true. Benz. Um, and I've been into the Red House in the past for work. So there we go. One of those places that does actually have an indoor market. When's the last time you were up here? 15 years ago. What I'm noticing about this indoor market is very outdoors, isn't it? No, we haven't got to it yet. <laughs> All right. Apparently, this place here on the left drives do the best Welsh gigs. But yeah, this is wild for me. I can't remember the last time I was in like a little indoor market like this. You know, there's a few people popping about in here as well, which is nice. It's nice to still support local, which I'm all about as well, to be honest. You could just picture this place back in the day, the hustle and bustle of it. And it's just a very fractured of his former self. A fraction of his former self. That's what I'm going to go for, but yeah. A fraction. <laughs> a fraction, to be honest with you. It's been a long weekend filming this on a Monday. However, we're coming through and we're getting it done. That's beautiful. Artificial flowers. When's the last time you saw one of those? When's the last time you've seen one of those? Just now. <laughs> I remember they used to be one in Wolwas. Yeah, well, what's, well, what's you're going back a little bit now, aren't you? Yeah. Now this is the indoor market, but that is the market bucket. Just so there's no confusion about whose bucket that is. A bridge takes you over to the college. Yeah, because you've got to go over the river tap. I think we should experience this. Do you want to go see the bridge? I do. Come on, man. So this is a bridge Head's over troubled water, man, is what this is. Well, it's over troubled car park at the minute. <laughs> the troubled water is uh, on the way soon. Right, so a lot of people will actually park this side because there's a huge car park. However, it is paid in this blue. Tesco's a wee park, it's a closest to town, and you get two hours for free. Do, do they call this a weir? Is that a weir? I don't know, I used to call it a waterfall. Yeah, we, well. <laughs> <laughs> And this has gone through massive redevelopment in the last 10 years. Oh yeah, this is unrecognisable. In fact, it might even be a bit older than that. Two seconds, sorry. Hello? Welcome back to another video where he's on the phone again. Oh, right, okay. I said, stay there and let me film this, at which point he immediately ran towards it. Censored. Do you know what's underneath that, what was subcentered? I said subscribe. <laughs> No, don't get confused, that's not me and him. Yeah, yeah. Tell you what though, I'm on the main, the way with the foot. I'm still having problems with the flare-ups on it, so I'm on a bit of a limp today as well, so I'm not walking like an old school thing. It's literally trying to get through. I'm bringing you the content, is what it is. 
That's got to be worth a like, isn't it? Oh yeah, I was going to say that, but I didn't want to come across too pushy, but yeah, support. I'll oh, push anything, but... Oh no, no. It's went forward. Yeah, this is just mind blowing for me walking around. It's like I haven't walked around for such a long time. So we're going to head up towards town. We're going to go see the Red House. There's a spoons up here, and there's also one for us. pubs up here. So I think it's only fair that we should check it out. That used to be a McDonald's. So there we go. You can see over my shoulder the Wyndham Arms. They say that's the roughest pub in Merthyr. Personally, no problems with it. So after the Wyndham, the pub, you've now got the Castle Hotel, which has also got a bit of a reputation, haven't it? It does have a reputation. I can remember going here as a kid, and it used to be fantastic food. However, I don't think it's been updated in however many years. Look at the way the curtains and stuff are up there as well. I think it's one of those places where they put, you know, sadly for like the homeless and immigrants and stuff. That's why I've been told anyway. Like, I think a lot of places are the same these days. Yeah. The country is in definitely in a state of turmoil, son. Very true. Let's keep walking. I tell you what, just next to the Castle Hotel, we've got the Winchester. Now, this isn't something I personally remember, so I'm not sure if it's coming more modern times. I'm loving that old Victorian tile there. This looks like Cascales. Looks like my sort of stuff, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, nice. It's a shame it's not open. But I'm looking forward to film more towns. South Wales, England, Ireland, Scotland. God, bringing them to the channel. There's a lot of police presence. There's spoons. That's the place you know you can get a cheap pint, isn't it? A cheap bit of frozen food. You've got the Red House, or it used to be called the Zone for local people. I've been in there once for work. Yeah? Yeah. Because that was derelict for many, many years. And it's only like, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 years they've actually redeveloped it. Beautiful building, man. It's a great looking building. Really, really is a great building. Could that potentially be a thumbnail? Who knows? However, Spoons, a lot of happy people having a nice pint in the sunshine. Can't fault it. But yeah, Spoons, Dick Pendarin. But yeah, the big heart of Merth, there we go. It's just telling us where we are on the map for anyone that does actually want to come and explore the town. People love Merth. People always rave about coming to Merth. There's so much diverse choice here. There we go, Henry Seymour Berry. Ooh. Was a Baron Buckland of the Bulk. Yes, sir. This is cool though, isn't it? It's a beautiful building. Lovely looking building. Reminds me of the school off Matilda, to be fair. If you know, you know. But that's what it does actually remind me of. A little bit of a sign there as well. Look at the revolving door as well, it's, it's very cool, hard in it? the most, isn't it? I really want to go and have a look, because just look through there That's as the well. Going. I love the old stained glass as well. That's cool, isn't it? There we go. Tidville Training. Are you familiar with Tidville Training? I can tell you about Tidville Training. Go on. Okay, I used to work somewhere whereby Tidville Training, they rented a space next door for the training courses, back to work sort of thing. Literally feet away from where I used to sit in my job was Christopher Mays. Remember that mad bloke that burnt down the school when he was sat in it when he was a kid? And then he dismembered that woman and the skinny dog. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. He was in the Tidville training courses next to where I was That's working. That's wild, isn't it? That's how I just. Oh, we've got to do a little bit of shout out to Chickenland as well. That's one place I can remember on a night out in Merthyr. <laughs> this was just like a bit of a water fountain you could drink out of back in the day, maybe. Yeah. I've never seen Jesus oh, rusted Jesus before. <laughs> Here we go. Probably not in use anymore. But well, St. David's Parish Church, a very nice looking church. I literally don't know anything about this other than I've just seen it. Mm. One way system. What everyone doesn't know back home, we've actually been sat here for 15, 20 minutes at the minute because there's a bin lorry on the way up, empty and all these big industrial bins. And there's nowhere else for anywhere to go. It's gridlock in front of us, it's gridlock behind us. But what we're coming through now is like where all the kebab shops, our oh, Sammy Sunshine used to be. Yeah. This on the left, I think it's derelict now. Because it's derelict, I'm going to say something, right? The back Hing in, Hong restaurant. Back in the day, there used to be a lot of stories about them in there. And I know they got closed down many times because of cleanliness, rats and stuff. Were Tell they them. serving rats? Well, no, well, I don't know what they were serving. You never know what anyone's serving is a problem. But I can remember, like, boys used to go out on a Friday night, Saturday night, have a few scoops and then get a bit intoxicated, go in there, be very racist towards them. And so they used to just mess with the food or like on plates and then just save the food on the plates that used to happen there wild yeah you know, all, all this is basically just cats and a lot of hairdressers there's so many hairdressers in murder it's mind-blowing do you want to talk to me about this pile of washing machines uh yeah so basically they buy and sell washing machines in there it's not a historical thing uh, no it's been there for years Mur murder appliance in it they'll come out and repair yours and they'll just just stock them basically 
but by my, have they got them on display just in case you aren't familiar what a washing machine well, looks like I, I know in it oh, I was going to say something I won't say it we're gonna, we'll, we'll what were you going to say <laughs> nothing red panda yeah, a magic walk on the right yeah red panda tattoos shout out don't it? I was going to say something sexist and I shouldn't say it so I'm not going to say so it say it for me and I'll decide <laughs> if it stays in Merthyr is very proud of the Trevithic steam engine. Trevithic steam Trivithic. engine? Trevithic, Trevithic, depending on how you want to say it. There's the hospital again from a better angle. You've got Prince Charles Hospital over there on the left. That's where I was actually born in 1991. What's the tower with the lights on top oh, of it? There's a crane, I think they're doing bits oh, right. over there. <laughs> it's trees, I can't really see past it. Here we go, there's, there's a lot of scaffolding going on around here. Yeah. yeah, they've completely, completely changed this. See, that's what you used to drive over there. Yeah, like, can't been, That's how long that's been changed for. The bridge has grass growing on it. I'm guessing we're gonna have to go down through Pant and the ICI, maybe? Do you feel like we just went round and round about the wrong way? Yeah, yeah. basically. <sighs> Look at the depth of that road there, where it's all been dug out before. Like, more feds coming down here. Look, with the uh, police lights are actually on as well. Mate, all I've seen today is police. Well, it's it's a crime-ridden area, isn't it? You know, there's a lot of stuff going on here. You're going to see a lot of police. On the right, we're passing the Brecon Mountain Railway. Again, one for the people who watched our Cars in the Tunnel video. That's where we are at the minute. Yeah, great so driving roads around here. So we're going to head to a place called Pond Stick, or Pond Stickle, depending on which bit you want to go to and where you're from. These sorts of roads, you can keep going. You end up in Taliban and ask you can go to Brecon this way also. But the Mountain Railway is very, very cool. Steam locomotive, narrow gauge, smaller gauge than what you would expect a big train to be. Uh, yeah, especially at Christmas time, they do Santa rides and stuff for the children, which is cool. But typical Wales, this is June and it's raining. Yeah, sometimes Merthyr does have its own ecosystem because it's a bit higher up. Like I live on top of a mountain and we have either sun or snow when everyone else has got the well, opposite. I can tell you now, and this isn't me kidding, it is 5.5 degrees colder here than it is when I left home this morning. <laughs> and that's, that's a true story. Crazy. So on the way to Pondstick, we've stopped in for a little special place that he always tells me about. Hey, this is a local landmark as well, this is. <laughs> this is called the Fun and Doyle there. People actually drink out of this. I know my dad's generation used to come up there with a bucket and a sponge and used to wash their cars with the water from this. <laughs> yeah, true story, but it's, people stop here. When we were here a couple of months ago, there was a guy filling up a water bottle here. It was actually, It's a yeah. natural spring. I used to drink out of here as a teenager. Now I'm old, I've actually thought, imagine if it was like a dead sheep further upstream or something. You know, not that great. I'll stick to my bottle water. However, local landmark. I'm willing to give it a go. I've got an empty bottle in the car. Stay there. So yeah, that's the new little ripper for driving up and down the country. Does the job very, very well. I'm not used to having something that does miles per gallon. Yeah, when he's doing this as well, before he starts filming, right behind there is the Taft Trail. The Taft Trail runs all the way from Cardiff right up towards Brecon. Cycle paths, there we go, Brecon. It's 20 miles from this point. I used to do it all the time as a child. As a teenager, I would say. What's the best way to get to this end of the trip? I've got a bottle top. That is pretty clear in all fairness. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> nice, cold. I told you, natural spring, mate. Does he taste? Like it's got all all the crap they put in in bottled water and um, tap water. Yeah, natural. Mm. All the years I've come up here and I've said to him, "Yo, you can drink all of that," and he's been like, "Nah, nah." He's done it, he's drunk it, and it's actually pretty good. So there we go. Well, if this video gets a good edit, you know he's still alive, isn't it? <laughs> but uh, check back on uh, a couple of weeks on how the how the water is. Here we are, Pond Stick Reservoir. So, the train runs parallel along this scenery, so this is what you're going to see along the way. There's actually a small station stop there, which you can just make out. There's also a bit of rolling stock actually parked up there, you know. But reservoirs, there are many between here and Taliban on us, which is maybe 10 miles away. When I was in school, 2006, boy in my year, I actually drowned in this reservoir, which is pretty sad. And many people have in other reservoirs also, but one of those things, I think it's an iconic spot, and if I bring someone to Merthyr and wanted to show them a beauty spot, that does it right there. I think it looks great. So what they've actually got going on here now then, stick your head over. See they blocked this off. I yeah? was wondering about this, yeah, the yellow stuff. See the platforms and stuff out there? The uh, yeah. 
there's a lot of outdoors things that like especially on the other side of this reservoir where people do the kayaking and the paddle boards etc so i'm guessing they've separated that to stop anyone going over and down the chute but this this is wonderful this 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 is wales this is made for tidville's beauty spots this this is a water treatment have a look at this nice to see they're doing kayaking and other things leave it in the comments if you're into your water sports looks like a covert government facility yeah. and i do believe the beautiful welsh water from here goes off to england that's a true story but yeah the views around there I, I guess people do take it for granted but look we've literally been five minutes from Merthyr, and look at this oh it's a change it's, it's a, a complete change so like any place good and bad points however we're not done with this show yet there's a lot more Merthyr to come yeah yeah down here is we're here Crochet is actually buried, you know, Crochet, the guy who owned the castle. The bad man. The bad man, this is where he's actually buried in the church down here. And he's actually got all Cajun over his grave. Again, the whole devil, you know, that sort of Are stuff. Are you sure that wasn't stopping local men from digging him up and smashing <laughs> well, his bones? maybe that too. Morless Castle is great up there. It used to be a castle up there, now it's just ruins. But here's the church and his, uh, his grave is actually in there. I'm not saying this church doesn't get a lot of use, but there's something there about the year 2000. Look at that. This is Vayner Church, this is called. This is Vayner Church. Oh, it's a squirrel. Lovely stay there, stay away. It's probably oh. going to see cross. Uh, I apologize for not being able to properly film a squirrel. It's him. There we go. Ooh. This is Crochet's grave. And that's where the squirrel's going. I told is, you he's gonna see Crochet. Is it an old man? When you said there was bars over it, you know like them vampire graves where <laughs> they've literally got a grill over them. That's what I was expecting. This is a hell of a stone mine, isn't it? This is a man that thought a lot of himself. Yeah, this, I mean, look, use him for scale. This is massive. Forgive me. <laughs> it's a bit slippery, isn't it? At the bottom, it, said, it says, God forgive me, look. The signs here, they say residents only. I mean, technically, I was a resident like 15 years ago. Go and have a look. We're all residents somewhere. <laughs> yeah, just not you. Just they, not they you. They didn't define it on the sign. No. Many, many years ago, a yeah. gentleman built this house because mm -hmm. his wife was just in love with the villas in Spain. Yeah. And I think he bought it to actually bring her over here from Spain. Okay. Look at that. That looks like nothing else in the area. No, it doesn't. That does stand out quite substantially. Look at this. It's fantastic. I love this place. It's one of my favourite buildings. Used to be like an old Land Rover and stuff in there, but it's been bought. That Mark II Golf has been there for many, many years. About 10 years ago in the Urbex scene, people actually went there to go and explore it. Oh, they've even got cameras on the road. Well, I never. But yeah, people turned up at that house to go and explore it mm -hmm. as the people were inside the house. Well, that's not good. I don't work, does it? I was thinking to myself, that's not there, is it? Absolutely love this place. See there? The Land Rover is still in there, like wedged in there, see? Oh, this one, yeah. Look at that. I'm with you. That should be in pretty good condition as well, because it's out of the elements. Uh, most of it is, yeah. Wild though, isn't it? Crazy. Love, love it. Place. I love it too. Really, really do love it. It's like we're on a rally course. Yeah. So as we go through Pondstick, you've got a lovely couple of country pubs. You've got the butchers there, and the one I always used to go to, which is a red cow. I used to go there under underage drinking quite a lot, especially on a Thursday night. One thing that always reminds me, the very first time I went there, this is when I was getting into ales, and I can remember thinking, oh, I don't know which one I want. And the guy, John, I was in there, was like, right, I'll pour you a quarter pint of every one. And he said, you buy the one you like. So I did that, started drinking them. I can tell you what, I was very aware that I had uh, had a couple of beers. I don't remember the journey home. And I can remember the Friday I had to take it off school because I wasn't very well. I had to take it. Oh, I was so hungover. I couldn't go to school. I messed this up, didn't we? Yeah. Not a good road for this, mate. Not a good road for this at all. I oh, know. We've got to be stuck behind him now. That's a problem. Now, if I was that trucker, I would have taken this road a bit wider. We would have been all right then. Well, the thing is, me and you are professional truckers because we spent an hour in one once, didn't we? We are. Smashed it. Mm. Absolutely smashed it. I tell you what, right, if you haven't seen our first time driving a truck video, go back and check it out because we're lining up some stuff at the minute to do some more firsts with heavy machinery and some other bits. And it's, it's going to be hilarious. There's no doubt about it. I'm probably very dark on the camera, sorry. But yeah, stay tuned, that's all I'm going to say. But definitely go and check that video. It's one of the first ones on there. It's worth a watch. There's so many people stop to take a picture of that water treatment plant. Don't they though? They do. Is it a popular thing around your water treatment? Yeah, I remember it over the years. Like so many people used yeah. to stop there. 
And he, he's a motor-plated taxi. Yeah. So. Unless, Unless he's stolen a motor plate of taxi <laughs> to enable him to get a picture of the water treatment works, which Ooh, is no, covered. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's a man in Ibiz up here. There we are. They've had reports that I was drinking the water and they've sent somebody out now to condemn the site. <laughs> <laughs> a rambler. American werewolf vibes. Another point of interest, in Merthyr Tidville, we're in the dead centre. The retail park is literally 30 seconds that way. Cavartha Park is over there. Welcome to Chapel Row. This is crazy the way this is there, isn't it? Oh, the way the, yeah. Residents live yeah. in all of these, apart yeah. from the one with the green windows. Right. So this is Joseph Parry's cottage. Oh, he's the guy who created Mavanwe, the song and all that. Okay. Aberystwyth, which I think he is best known for. Mm -hmm. This is a bit of a natural museum, basically. The house is set up as it would have been for an industrial worker in 1840. Oh, I know. So yeah, this is the guy who done Mavanri, which for everyone back home was a very, very famous Welsh song, if not one of the most famous. Oh, Mavanri, I won't sing it to you. No, 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 give us a full verse and chorus. I won't, but a uh, very, very cool place, you know. And it's set as 1840s, how it would have been for an iron Oh, right, okay. But yeah, people live. I used to know a boy, Robert, who used to live here as well, next to one of these, like. Did water run through here, or has that been brought here in homage? No, I'm guessing that's how it would have been. Don't forget, this town was just nothing but industrial, wasn't it? Mm. So there's ironworks and things everywhere. You're not actually that fast, unless this would have been an old canal. That would be my thought. Because don't forget, that's how they used to bring the coal out of the valleys down to the ports, wasn't they it? They did, yeah. The canal boats with the through horses Ponty, where I live, yeah. the side and brought them down. So this is probably what this is. Pretty cool that it's still there. There's an old coal cart there as well, isn't it? Come on. Right, so the retail park was actually put here in about 2004. Sorry, I hit the camera on the door then. It's gone through various redevelopments over the years. You've got some great stores. You've got Marks and Spencers there. You've got JD over there. You've got a flannels outlet. Literally, it's a very, very good retail park. Just over there as well is Traeger Mills. We're going to go and have a little nosy there as well. But you've got food outlets here, fast food, pizza, etc. Home Sense, which is my favorite shop here, because I do love a Home Sense. The stuff they have there, very, very nice. Borada. Borada, Dioch. So we're now entering the Gathley Dag Estate, which is Swansea Road. It's, it's very similar to the Gurness. You know, it's got a bit of a reputation around you. You get good places, you get bad places. A lot of these people are probably very, very nice, but it's got a reputation and stigma just for like the years of the way the media and stuff has been. Mm. You know, but the, this this is Gathley Dag, basically. It looks lovely on camera. Yeah, it's just one of those places, I guess. This is Gatley Day. I've a never lot, been in there. A lot of reputation. I know people from here, and they're lovely people, you know. It's just one of those things. And I know in this video, we've missed out loads of places like Pan, Penadaran, you know, The Walk, some other nicer places as well in Merthyr, and further up, Town and Carmel, etc. But I want to bring a bit of mix of like nice and, you know, things that they say are not so nice and just show some beauty spots. Merthyr Tidville, you need to come and have your own little uh, little opinion on it. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna drive now to another place and show it to you, and we might actually go and get a snack. Obviously, the purpose of this video wasn't meant to be a comprehensive tour of Merthyr. It was more going back to his hometown and like, just and checking throwing it out in some bit. other bits, yeah. yeah. But um, I don't know, do you want a proper tour of Merthyr? Leave it in the comments. Is this somewhere else you'd like us to visit? Yeah, you know, drop us in the comments, comments below, right? Because obviously, we've done Puthcore, we've done Merthyr, they're both places that are quite close to me. And no doubt we're going to go do Ponty as well for you and Cardiff, areas you've lived, that you know. But if it's an area, it doesn't matter if, you know, if it's South Wales, great. But if it's around the UK and you're like, yo, you need to go check out those That's places. not how a roundabout works, is it? I tell you one <laughs> thing about Merthyr Tidville as well, right? The driver's up here. Yeah? Mental. Is this where you learned to drive? Because you drive mental. Well, technically, I did learn to drive up here, but I'm just a bit quick, innit? Shout out to a dystopian future landmark that is um, Trago Mills. Right, there's a Trago Mills video on the channel if you want to go and check there it out. There is, go and have a look. We went, we went in, we started at one end, we walked all the way through the other end. Go and have a look at it, Trago For Mills. For me, Trago Mills is like a B&M bargains. Yeah, it is like a B&M, basically, or home bargains. But the size of a warehouse. Yeah, and like, I don't really rate it. It's not where I would buy stuff. It's nothing for me to buy you, if that makes sense. The but the belt I'm wearing came from you. The <laughs> wallet of God came from you. Did I tell you about the time they told me two left wellies? Yeah, <laughs> that happened. <laughs> What's the purpose of this video? I don't know why are you filming this. I can tell you exactly what the purpose of this video is. We sat in Trago at the minute. Behind him, bake stones. Welsh be 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 cakes. Best Welsh cakes you can get. There he is. We will reconvene yeah, with him when he comes back. Tell you what, my hay fever is not <coughs> ideal. 
excuse me, but anyway, baked stones, Welsh cakes. I've got a deal there. You can have 10 for £4.50. Now, anyone that has a mental brain, <laughs> the best flavour of Welsh cakes are jam. He thinks they're normal ones. Traditional. Traditional. Mm. You should go for jam. I went for jam, I went for coconut, I went for chocolate, and I went for lemon. That's exactly how that's gone on. Baked stones, amazing. Filming this Mirtha video is my little treat, and I'm going to enjoy these tonight. Anyway, let's go wrap this up. You and Cheeky Boy had a good luck end, didn't they? <laughs> right then, thoughts? It's very much like a lot of valley stones, not as run down as some of them. I mean, some of the, the Ronda valleys you go up. Yeah, they can get deprived, can't they? And it does, yeah. So barren is happened. what I would call it. But I don't think anywhere's doing well at the minute. So I think there's a lot of places that are a lot worse than it. But what I wanted to try and do in this video, as I said already, was try and bring some beauty spots, a bit of history, a bit of stuff that was close to me, and just show a little bit of everything and just show that it's not all bad that it's made out to no, be. No, no, absolutely. Because a lot of people do give it a bad name as well. Yeah, hadn't It started off with a bad name and now a lot of people try and do it. Yeah. All these videos, oh, Merthyr the worst town, Merthyr this, Merthyr that. It's not that bad. It ain't that bad. So let's just, let's just sum this up then, yeah? Huge unemployment in the area. Mm -hmm. Life expectancy is a lot lower than other Valley towns and other places in Wales, which is crazy. There is good parts, there are some bad parts. Big community spirit, which stands out massively. Me and him stood out massively in some areas Everyone as well. Everyone looks at us everywhere. <laughs> which the beards might have something to do with that. Yeah. But yeah, Merthyr, I can say this on a personal level. I spent 20 years here. I'm glad I left the town, there is no doubt about that, and I don't mean this in a bad negative way, but leaving you opened up so many different opportunities and just things I wouldn't necessarily done. When you actually leave you and go and live in different places, you actually see a different way of life, and that's the, that's the best way I can mm. put it. Sorry, I don't know if I was framing you bad, so... You always do, it doesn't yeah. matter anymore. So Mirtha, it's all right, right? It's not completely bad. It's not as bad as what people make it out to be. There's some great people here. You should definitely come and pay a visit, especially some of the historic beauty spots that we filmed today. Brecon Beacons are only, you know, 20 miles that way. Stunning, stunning places. But we've, we've chatted about it enough. No disrespect either if we've come across bad in this Murphy video. That's not, we've just tried to be as honest as we can and not sugarcoat and hide things. We if haven't anything. come in with an agenda. We haven't no. come in with any thoughts. We've literally just come in and done it. Yeah. Raw, honest, real. But yeah, what are we saying until next time? No, I'm saying if you've stuck around until this long, you must oh, be the true heroes, I isn't it? I forgot about the true yeah. heroes of the video. So thank you very much to those people. I'm glad leave, you're on point. Have yeah, you if you've enjoyed it, leave it in the comments. True, true hero, isn't it? Again, there's somebody yeah. like is now looking at us. What are they doing over there filming? We can't move. It's, it's amazing, That's isn't right. it? But I'm going back to the coast now. Boss yeah. out. I'm going to Ponty <laughs> down the road. Ta-da now. Boosh.